to draw your ladybird, you're going to need some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. Also, if you'd like to color it in, I've used watercolors, but you can use anything of your choice. I'm gonna start off nice and simply with a big oval shape. There we go, just a nice big oval shape, just like that. Nothing fancy, don't press too hard because this is just our preparatory shape. Just like that. Now we're just going to be adding the front part, so it's the front bit of the ladybird comes down around like this, and now the separation between the two wings, just a simple curved line, like so. And now for a little section of the head down here, peeping out there. Okay, I'm just switching to pen, but please do carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it well on camera. Now, we're going to be drawing the outline of the wing, but here I'm just doing some curved corners. So, drawing the whole wing like that, and then this part of the wing as well. You're drawing the other part of the wing. So this one comes to about there, and then we're going to draw a curved line coming round and then hitting the oval shape that we did before. Just like so. Now for this front section. So, drawing two lines in parallel. This one here. This one will come inwards and hit there and then go up again and down again and back to join it there now for this front section so this goes like this and then for the little mouth area a little shape like that and then we're going to put in two white markings here and there and then one here I'm now going to draw in the markings. We're gonna go over this in color in a second, but just so that we've got the markings here all laid out already. So I'm marking there, and I'm marking there. So there are 5,000 different species in the world of ladybirds. And one that we're doing at the moment is called the seven spotted ladybird. It's usually red or orange with three spots on either side, and then one in the middle. So this is the one in the middle. I'm going to draw it in a heart shape because this particular ladybird has a marking in a heart shape. And then a little bit of white on this side, a little bit of white on the other side. So the red colour acts as a warning to animals not to eat them because they taste horrible. So I'm just going to be doing a black spot here. So they're also called ladybugs or lady beetles and the name originates in Britain where the insects became known as Our Lady's Bird. And that's because in early paintings, the Virgin Mary was often depicted wearing a red cloak. And the spots of the seven spotted ladybird were said to symbolize the seven joys and her seven sorrows. So there you go, a little bit of history for you. I'm gonna draw the other one on this side. Just like that, you can't see the other spots on the other side. Okay, now we're going to be drawing the legs of the insect. So, one there, and then the legs kind of coming down. Got like little prongs on the end of its foot, just like so. Underneath here. antennae coming out here and the same on the other side just like that and the other leg here this one's kind of foreshortened there so you can only see a part of it Go and you 
can't see much of the back leg. It's tucked in underneath the ladybird. Right, so if you haven't gone over it in pen, go over it in pen now and then erase all the pencil marks. So I'm using my trusty watercolour set um, just to add a little bit of colour. So we're just going to block in some colours, we're not going to do this here today. So I'm just going to add some black here. So another fun fact is that ladybirds love to eat aphids and a single ladybird can eat more than 5,000 aphids during its lifetime. Uh, their lifetime is quite short, so they tend to only live between one to two years. So I'm just adding some black watercolour here, Let's give it a bit of colour. I'm leaving the centre section a little bit lighter, kind of a more of a grey, just because um, there's a little bit more light on that section. Make a little bit darker in this part in between. And also here. Okay, and then the legs, same, still in the black, just painting it all in. Doesn't matter if you go over the lines like I've done, we're not aiming for perfection. Remember we're doing a drawing and a painting. It's not meant to be a photograph. So, you know, don't get annoyed with yourself if it doesn't look perfect and identical to an actual, you know, a photograph of a ladybird. It's not the same. We're doing a painting, we're doing a drawing, this is artwork. We don't want it to look like a photograph. Well, if that's your aim, then that's absolutely fine. Um, there are some amazing photorealist artists out there, but we're just aiming to do a nice painting and a nice drawing. Okay, so the black carries on down here and on the mouth area as well. I'm always trying to find ladybirds in my garden to eat all the aphids off the roses. So I'm a big friend of ladybirds. They're considered to be really lucky in some cultures. And farmers in particular love them. There we go, okay. I'm just gonna draw the little antennae. And this one here, and we're gonna color in the rest of the spots. Okay. It's really taking shape, isn't it? If you've got this far, you should really, really, really congratulate yourself because you've stuck it out and you're seeing it through to the end. So well done. Now for the red. So choose yourself a really nice, bright red. brighter so I'm just going back there we go that's more like it yes watercolors so I also aim to produce a 60 second cartoon ladybird video so once I've done that I'll put a link There's a nice bit of shine on it there. Okay. Not a bit of shine down here. little bit of shine just along the bottom there. Just 
make it a little bit more strong. There we go, right now I'm just going to add some flower in the background. So it's kind of sitting towards the center of the flower, just here. Nice yellow. There we go. Right, this bit is just, you know, really loosely done. I'm not going to do much detail. This is the center of a flower. Draw the petals. So this could be a really nice marigold or something. The yellow is getting slightly lighter towards here, so more lemon yellow as opposed to the cadmium yellow, I can't even say that, that I was using before. It's like red lorry, yellow lorry, isn't it? That tongue twister. So hard to say, particularly when you're trying to paint at the same time. Now I'm mixing a little bit of orange with yellow ochre, just under here, just in the areas of shadow. As you can see, I put a dollop of orange there. It's a little bit too much, but that's the beauty of watercolour, is that you can just add a little bit of water and it all goes away. There we go. Okay, it looks like a sunshine ladybird, doesn't it? <gasps> well, there's our finished ladybird. I really do hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And thank you for joining me. I've really enjoyed your company. So if you've enjoyed doing this one, check out this video here and click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.